All right, Willard, thank you very much. It's week two of our ongoing series, Start Up to Success, where small companies vie for the chance to impress millionaire Marcus Limonis of CNBC's The Profit. Three companies remain. Marcus gave them a creative task to complete behind the scenes. So now it's time to see what they've come up with. Good morning to all of you. And Marcus, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. What was the purpose behind this task? Well, you know, what I want people to do is think outside the box. And I want to see how creative they are with not a lot of time. And I want to see what they can do if they're quick on their feet. Anytime they're going to go in and make a presentation to a company, they got to think fast. So you gave them a box, you gave them some art supplies, and they had to come up with something to enhance their product something that and helps impress you. Yeah. All right, let us begin. We're going to have the Charleston Gourmet Burger Company, Chevalo and Mo- Monique wilson de Briano. What did you guys come up with? Well, we decided to think outside the box. We wanted to come up with a grill and a stove to show that our product is versatile. At Charleston Gourmet Burger Company, we do burgers and we do it well. I mean, 82% of American households own a grill. And so we expect countless Americans to be enjoying our all-natural, gluten-free, gourmet burger products on a grill. We just, we, after countless emails from our customers, they've mm. told us our product is so versatile. It's not just for burgers. So we wanted to show you can use it with fajitas, soups, stews, chicken, pork. Chevalo and Monique, let me tell you what I love about what you did. You used all of the parts and pieces that I gave you, and you told me what I can do with your product. I think you did a great job. Thank, Thank you. you. Really Thank job. you so much. Well done. Thank okay. You. Let's move on. We've got stay-at-home moms. Chrissy Eng and Angela Moy and their stamping company called Mama Elephant. Ladies, what did you come up with? So if we were to make a store display today, this is what we would make to, um, because we are looking for what would make people think of now, which is the spring and everybody likes cake. So we have a little cake and spring flowers and spring colors. And I just also wanted to show you that stamping is just a piece of cake. Nice. Very no creative. There. You know, the most important thing when you're taking your product to market is how it gets presented at retail. You can have a great product, but if the customer doesn't notice it while they're walking down the aisle, they're not going to stop. I think you guys did a great job of putting that together. Thank nice you. presentation. Ladies, thank you very much. Last but not least, we've got Greg Katz and Jimmy Edgerton of Two Armadillos with their organic chickpeas. And guys, what was the thought behind this project? We want to make a better display for our delicious, crispy roasted chickpea snacks. I'm an engineer. I build things. Greg's a doctor. He's much better with a stethoscope than back in our class. We wanted, before you can buy our snacks, you must first be able to see them. So a better display case lets us sell more snacks in retailers like Hy-Vee and Whole Foods. And selling more snacks lets us create more American jobs like Charles Morton. Charles Morton is our kitchen manager. A year ago? Guys, I like the product. I'm going to cut you off. I like the product. I tasted it last week. I don't love your presentation. You didn't use all the materials that I gave you, and it looks a little more homemade than some of the other ones. So I I don't love the presentation. I still like the product, but I don't love the presentation. Was this the first thing that came to mind? Were there some trials and errors before this? The reason that we're talking about our kitchen staff is because we need to hire more people to sell our snacks. Our business is growing too fast, and so (laughs) we created this sign thinking outside the box so that we can let people know how they can get in touch with us to get work. I love it, and I love the initiative, but I want to sell product and I want to make money. And so although you need to hire people for work, you need to sell your product first, and I don't think you got it. You're asking these people to become their own marketing people here in an instant here. In reality, won't they get to hire marketing people to handle these kinds of chores for them? No, you know, Matt, small businesses in this country, unfortunately, can't afford to be hiring an army of people. They have to be multidimensional and versatile. They're marketing, they're packaging, they're product development. They're all of those things. But I have to tell you, the Charleston Burger presentation, I think for me, I like it. I like it because they told me everything about their product. They told me how to use it, and they told me what to buy. So far, that's my favorite. All right. So, actually, the time has come to tell us more than who your favorite is, and I think this is a little anticlimactic based on what you've said here. One of these companies goes home today. The other two continue on to the startup to success. And See, you think it's anticlimactic. No? It's not. Here's why. Uh, there's always three things in business, people, process, and product. I love the product entirely. The presentation in terms of the process, I think you miss it, but we can always fix the process. And the people, the people are wonderful. But here's my challenge. You know, uh, Chrissy and Angela, I like your product, but it's hard for me to really understand how to use it. So I'm going to give you $5,000 
and I want you to go home and I want you to work on real packaging. If I like it, I'll put you in my hundred stores across the country because I think women will love, absolutely love your product. And if we can teach men how to use it, maybe Matt and I will use it as well. All right, so wait a second. So let me make sure I understand. But they're going home. They're going home with 5,000. Okay. And they're going home with an opportunity to get in my hundred stores. All right. So these folks on the end, they the, continue on in the process? They, they, even though the packaging wasn't great, they're going to continue. All right. Well, Chrissy and Angela, how do you feel about the opportunity that Marcus is giving you? You feel really, really good that, yeah. You should feel good about what's happened. You guys have done a great job. You're working hard. You're an you're American dream, and we're very proud of you. So don't, don't leave here discouraged. Well, thank right. you. Thank you. Good. And thank you all. We appreciate it. Marcus, thank thanks you. you. Our final two will battle it out next time, next week. And you can see more from Marcus on The Prophet. That's tonight, 10 Eastern and Pacific Time on CNBC.